Imagine a box always has something for me to do. Oh no! I'm not going to the library. Nurky! I know what that is. It's a storybook that once belonged to my great 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 uncle Hartley. It's one of the best stories you've ever heard, Sparkle. Oh, and you'd love the fairy tales. Fairy tales? Oh, lovely. Boring. What? All those princesses and princesses. It's all a load of old fooey. Ask me about any one of them and I'll tell you the truth. Well, go on. Ask me. Go on. Um, okay. Uh, Cinderella. Gold digger. Robin Hood. Common thing. Sleeping Beauty. Lazy. Aladdin. Uh, genius. Flying carpet. Rapunzel. <laughs> Scruffy teenager. Get your head cut, love. Well, the heroes of my fairy tale are nothing like that. There are two rabbits. <laughs> no, he! Oh, I'm not sticking around here to hear this pile of old tosh. I'd rather go and clean the toilet. Smell your laser chill blades. I'm off for a blueberry smoothie. Bye! <laughs> what is he like, boys and girls? They're protected. And for many years, she wasn't allowed to explore the kingdom. Her parents were worried that something awful might happen to her, just like so many fairy tale princesses before her. So they kept her hidden away from the outside world. Oh dear! But the king and queen knew that one day Princess Margalina would have to meet a handsome prince. And so they decided to hold a royal ball and invite every prince from far and wide to come and meet the princess. Oh. And as you can imagine, this was going to be quite an overwhelming occasion for the young royal bunny. Hey! <laughs> Hiya, kids! Uh, hello? Ah! Oh my word! Do you mind sneaking up on me like that? They gave me such a fright! I mean, what did you think that... Mr. Delpit, I've been out here myself. Thank you, over here. Thank you. Hello, love. What's a nice bunny like you doing in a place like this? Come here often, do you? <laughs> Did you hurt yourself when you fell from heaven? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you believe in love at first sight, or should I walk past again? <laughs> Watch and learn, fellas. Watch and learn. Apart from being beautiful, what are you doing for a living, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkalina. Pleased to meet you. Wow! Thank you, Your Majesty. The Princess? Uh, uh, Your Majesty, uh, uh, my for just now for she's coming to you not but, uh, um, this is now heard of oneself when oneself fell from it yonder heaven. Oh, <laughs> I just thought that that's how you royal folk speak. <laughs> I mean, speak. <laughs> Not at all. So you know who I am. But this is the first time anyone has been allowed into the palace grounds. So, um, <clears throat> who are you? Oh, I am Sparks, your royal highness. The local happy man. Oh, I see. So, can you chop down trees for firewood? Um, no. You say only live around the corner. <laughs> Is handy. <laughs> Squillet! Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. <laughs>
crazy. But will you marry me? Can I say something even crazier? Yes! Yippee! <laughs> oh, 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 but wait! Oh, I mean, no. Right, sorry. Oh, that was short-lived, even for me! You see, my church sent the others home. The position has been filled. Yes, I, Sir Darkelot the Nasty, have arrived to claim the Princess Sparkalina as my bride. <laughs> <laughs> And all of the money or riches of power that go hand in hand with such a position. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. All hail the new king in town. <laughs> um, so what brings you to these parts, mate? Did you not just hear me, you big in bozo? I am Sir Narconot, there to claim my rightful destiny, to take my place on the throne and rule over you chaps by marrying Princess Sparkalina! Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that right, boys and girls? Princess? Yes, I know. It's quite surprising, isn't it? I mean, she is a bit rough. You could say ugly, even. Oh, but shouting at people, telling them all what to do and making their lives a complete misery as I rule over their land with my shabby-looking queen beside me. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. What? Yes. <laughs> How can you say that? The Princess Sparklina is gorgeous. And anyway, she has already agreed to marry me. Doesn't she, boys and girls? <laughs> and who, pray tell, are you? I am Sparks, the local handyman. Handyman? <laughs> So you're not even a prince. <laughs> then you don't stand a chance, you twitchy nose lumpty. Her <laughs> father, the current but soon to be former king, has said that only one with a high nobility will marry his daughter. And that rules you out. <laughs> well, 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 we just saw the lovely song. And, uh, uh, and we had a dancing. Well, she's got to ask her dad if he might reconsider. Yeah. Ha! He won't. But I thought, what on earth makes someone like you think you stand a chance with someone like her? You don't. So push off, carrot brains. <laughs> Sir, you have shown me a lack of respect. I leave you now, but I will return with the Princess Sparkalina, and you will see that we are very much in love. I'll see you soon, boys and girls. Bye-bye! No -bye. good! He's gone! That means I can get on with the job in hand! Let's see what you've got! You try to slap me with your hardy stuff, but you double when he is an to stuff! I'll tear the ring on straight, you took me out of date! You're only second rate! You think that I ever been even trying to advance tame? You've got a lot to learn about my evil game, so for your education I'll reiterate! You're only second rate! Then cower at the power in my pinky! My thumb is number one on every list! But if you're not convinced that I'm invincible, put me to the test! I'd love to lay this rivalry to rest! Go ahead and zap me with your big surprise! Snap me in a trap, cut me down to size! I'll make a great escape, it's just a piece of cake! You're only second rate! You know your hocus pocus isn't tough enough! And your bumbo jumbo goes a case of your sorry state! You're only second rate! <laughs> Granny's gonna grab ya! Get on that bus! This thing's bigger than the money the mass! I spare your tremendous scare! You look horrendous in your underwear! And I can hardly wait to discombobulate! I'll take you back and pack you in a shipping crate! You'll make a better living with a spinning plate! You're only second rate! Yeah! Hey! What about a great big cheer for me? <laughs>
Nice <laughs> one, your highness. Now, um, what did your dad have to say? Well, he said that if I truly had found the one I love, then I could marry whoever I choose. Really? Oh, that's weird! <laughs> no, what do you do? But I suppose they will live happily ever after. Yeah. Oh, yes! It's like all of my wishes came true! <laughs> Square! Do you ever feel like you found someone? Someday will be a part of your world. Turn up the magic. Baby, can you feel the love? Turn up the magic. Brilliant! <laughs> oh, what a happy ending! You know, someday, far up in the future, our descendants are going to tell this story. Tragic, more like. Yeah. Oi, Stiglot, haven't you got some toilets to clean? Oh. Come on! Yes, no. no. <laughs> Bye! Oh, glad that's See you over. Soon. Oh. Goodbye, everybody! Oh, rubbish! That was brilliant, Sparky! Oh, no! Oh, no. Bye, everybody! Bye, boys and girls! Bye! Let me through! I want to say goodbye to the boys and girls! Oh, get out of the way! He's standing on my foot! Get out, boy! See you soon!